Hello Year 3, it's Miss Hendy here and it's Friday! Woohoo! It's the end of the week. I hope you've all had a lovely week and you've been enjoying to, um, our story in the Reading Skills Lessons, Mrs Armitage on Wheels. Um, we have got the final part of it today before you can go off and enjoy your lovely weekend of rest and fun. So I'd like you to press pause, write today's short day and vipers, putting a circle around the S and we are focusing on summarise today. So we have our vipers, V for vocabulary, I for infer, P for predict, E for explain and R for retrieve and today's focus is S for summarise. Now to summarise is when we look at the main ideas or things that have happened within a story and put them together. So some, if you want someone to ask you to summarise something, you'd say the key events that happened. You wouldn't need to tell them the whole story. So our current text is Quentin Blake's Mrs Armitage on Wheels. Um, so what did you think Mrs Armitage would add to give the bike some oomph? What did you think? Shall we find out what she does? Let's go. Quite page 20 we are starting from. And so she got some wood and some ropes and some tarpaulin. She rigged up a mast and a sail and she added a few yards of bunting and an anchor into the bargain. Quick vocabulary check, that tarpaulin is our waterproof cloth. Um, if you have bikes at home, um, bikes that you ride, if you don't have a shed, you might store them outside. Tarpaulin is something you put over it to protect it them from the rain, so it stop them getting rusty. It's like a waterproof cloth. And then rigged um, means to be put together. Question 22. And off she went with the wind behind them, faster and faster and faster until why do you think the author is using ellipsis here the dot 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 what do you think is going to happen crash crunch clang clatter thud ah hee ha ha what has happened here this is the great thing with the picture book is that the pictures tell you part of the story. What has happened? What this bike needs, Breakspear, said Mrs. Armitage, Armitage, as she picked herself from the wreckage, is taking to the dump. And what I need is quick vocabulary check. So a wreckage is remains of something that has been damaged or destroyed. What do you think she need is, needs? Are you ready? Whoopee! What is Mrs. Armitage's new mode of transport? How do you know she's happy at the moment? There's a couple of clues there, the picture and the text. But what these roller skates need, said Mrs. Armitage to herself, what these roller skates need is, dot, dot, dot. What do you think Mrs. Armitage will add to her roller skates? How do you know she hasn't learnt her lesson from before with the bike? How do you know she's not learnt her lesson? Have a little think. Okay, so that's it. That's the end of um, Mrs. Armitage on Wheels. So what you need to do is you have um, in your files for today's lesson is items and reasons. And you need to um, write them out or you can cut them out. You don't need to print them. And you need to match the item to the reason. So, for example, um, she added um, the soap and the towel and they were to keep her hands clean so you'd match those reasons up and then I'd like you to try and put the reasons in order of when she added them to her bike so press pause minimize video and have a go at that task in your books once you've done come back open it up and we'll go through the answers okay so here it is have you got your purple pens ready a really loud horn. This was so the hedgehogs could hear her. Somewhere to wash her hands so she can wash them when her chain breaks. A toolbox so she could fix her bike when it's broke. 
a food tray and cup holder so she can pack a picnic when she and the dog were hungry. A seat for Breaksby the dog, so the dog could have somewhere to rest when he was tired of running alongside. A large and small umbrella so she and Breaksby wouldn't get wet when it rained. A music player and mouth organ so the ride would be more cheerful. A sail so the bike would go faster and she wouldn't get so tired pedalling. Taking to the rubbish dump because she had added so many inventions it broke and was now destroyed. Don't worry too much if you didn't get them completely in the correct order. I know it's difficult when you don't have the entire text in front of you. Um, but as long as you've got the reasons to which one, that's really important. And kind of the first couple of things and the last thing. And finally, your task for today is you have a challenge activity. Can you draw and label all of Mrs. Armitage's inventions onto this bike? Now, if you haven't got a printer, you don't need to print the bicycle um, out. What you can do is draw your own bicycle and then have a little look at all those things there that you've just worked out. Can you draw them onto the bicycle? It's a little bit of fun there. And can you label them as well? And once you've done that, perhaps you, what you'd like to do as well is, if you had to describe Mrs. Armitage as a person, so not how she looks, what words would you use and why would you use them? And that's it for today. I hope you're all well and enjoy Mrs. Armitage on wheels and I'm looking forward to the next text on Monday. Take care. Bye.